Hi folks, it's the author Angela C. Nurse on ebook publication day of Jack in a Box. Uh, today I'm going to be doing a series of videos for my launch, it's been super fun and I hope you're enjoying them. So let's start with earrings. Uh, so you'll notice in most of my videos my earrings are novelty or quirky style earrings, but these are, are proper silver earrings. They were given to me as a gift by my daughter. They have little rowan leaves on the droplet. Um, she gave me those when I had not long started writing Jack in a Box, uh, so they're super special. Um, my daughter has always been really, really supportive of my creative endeavours uh, and that's meant a huge amount to me. So this video is dedicated to the people in my life who have been super um, supportive of my ambition to be a full-time writer and, and who really understand what it's taken for me to get to this point, uh, including a couple of really good friends who have characters named after them. So it goes without saying that my husband and my daughter um, are, are super supportive. Well, I hope it goes without saying. Um, my husband is my rock when it comes to these things. So he, he has to listen to me talk through all my ideas and tell me when they're not working out so well or he likes something and he's just been there since the very beginning so our whole relationship I, I this has been my ambition my whole life and he's known that and supported it throughout um sometimes he's told me some harsh truths I remember probably about five years ago him saying to me you know you're never going to get a book published if you don't actually sit down and write a book at the time I thought it was a little bit harsh um I mean I'd only been talking about it for like 15 odd years um but no, he was really right. I had to sit on my backside and I had to write. Um, and he's been there throughout to keep me keep me on the straight and narrow. Um, my daughter is like a huge cheerleader for me. And she has a lot of belief in my, my dreams and my ambitions and my work ethic. Uh, and so that's been lovely. In addition to that, there's been some really good friends along the way. And I mentioned nearly all these in my acknowledgements. Uh, my friend Kirsty was the first person who... Uh, outside of my family group who I was really honest with and said hey uh, I want to be a writer this is this is my dream and ambition and she was so overwhelmingly supportive um that I asked her to read some of the things I'd written uh, not from the Roe McFarlane series actually but from previous books and I asked her because one of the great things about Kirsty is that she is super harsh and honest and I knew that despite being my friend I would get no um false praise and it was really good to, to have, have someone just to have, share that with. And I think the thing is, when you want to be in a creative profession, but you don't currently work in a creative profession, it can be really hard and really make you really nervous about telling people that you work with <clears throat> that this is what you're about. This is, this is you. Uh, and it took me a long time to open up to all of the people I worked with and tell them, hey, I want to be a writer. This is my lifetime ambition. And not because I was ashamed of it, but just because... It's, it, you expose yourself a little bit uh, and, and that can always be hard. So a couple of my characters are, are named after friends. So Alana, um, Rowan's daughter, and Sonia, Sonia Grother, the uh, pathologist, are named after my good friends. Um, I obviously got their permission before I named characters after them, but Alana has been such, a, such um, an amazing support and I'm always totally humbled by how much faith um, she has in my ability to succeed and how proud she is that I, I'm chasing my dream. Uh, and that's, so if you're ever feeling down, you need an Alana in your life because they'll pick you right back up. Um, and Sonia, she's been there, you know, to hear me complain and mine and and to the, the, the laughs and the, and the tears of, of trying to work full time and write books and, and things like that and always just believe that I can do it. I think it's really important you have those people in your life. Um, you can find them all over the place. Uh, I've I found a lot of my friends who work uh, and Sonia and Alana are both from there. Um, I'm also really, really blessed to have some friends in the creative world as well. Uh, my good friend Marion Todd, who's also an author, has just been a gem of a human being. Uh, I met her through Twitter and when I joined Twitter, I never expected for one minute that I would make such a, a truly amazing friend. And um, I'm absolutely thrilled to, to have done so. It's been a really, the writing 
hub on Twitter, particularly if the other crime writers, has been such a um, welcoming and warm community. If you are an aspiring writer, I thoroughly recommend you find your people. Um, nothing makes you feel more uplifted than knowing you have your people behind you. And you know what, if you're a reader, it takes a village to, to support creative industry. So please get out there and, and write reviews for the books that you love and tell the people who paint the pictures you think are beautiful that they're, they're beautiful um, and be kind to the people around you because no matter what somebody's trying to achieve, like having that little bit of uplift is always so wonderful. Have a wonderful day and I will be with you in my next video. See you later. Bye bye.